OK, we're into the top five now. And if Andy Dibble had ever been to the pantomime, he would have known... He's behind you! I love saying that. Oh, and uh, Crosby's pinched the... Oh, has he given the goal? He has! My word! Gary Crosby! And Dibble is livid! Andy Dibble does put it on a plate for him as much as you possibly can. He's got those big keeper's spoon hands and he's kind of looking at the ball going, I wonder if somebody just runs around the back of me now and nodded it out of my hand. I wonder how bad that would be. Oh, he's, oh, he's done it. Oh, I can't. And then he goes ballistic. How dare you? That's the king referee. That can't be allowed. There's got to be something against this. Sadly for him, there wasn't at the time and it stood. <laughs> Gary Crosby's elated. Nandy Dibble, Officer Dibble, gutted. Goalkeepers, they've seen, you know, People nip round the back and take them. Not usually so stylishly. He really does a lovely little flick to take it out. And what complaints uh, Officer Dibble can have about all that, I really don't know. I argued at the time that this shouldn't have been a goal. As far as I'm aware, the rules state full control of the ball. So there's nothing about two hands. It says the goalkeeper must have full control of the ball. Andy Dibble, ball's on his hand. It's not going to go anywhere. It's not blowing an 80 miles an hour gale. And there he is, just about to kick it away. Gary Crosby comes in like the classic sneak thief. You have to admire Crosby. Nobody else had tried that at all. But Andy Dibble's reaction is classic. And it's a lesson. It's a lesson to all goalkeepers now. You always see them now, ball in both hands. Every time. It's called the rule of Dibble.